Hey guys, it's the new year, so it's time to do a software update on your Hummingbird Helix fish finder unit. So whether you're out ice fishing or you're fishing open water, it's always good uh, to update your software because it's going to give you increased functionality. It'll help fix any bugs that Hummingbird has figured out over the past year. And oftentimes they'll add uh, new features. I know that's been the case especially for the uh, ice fishing one. They've really, in the last several updates, they've upgraded uh, the, the flasher setting and things like that. So I'm going to show you how to update your own Helix uh, fish finder. And I'll take you in a step-by-step -step process on how to do that. A couple things you're going to need. Um, first of all, you should probably should get uh, a little notebook or some paper and a pen to write some information down. And then you're also going to need a 32 gigabyte class 10 SD card. It must be 32 gigabyte, it must be class 10, and it must be clean. Uh, I'll put some links uh, below in the description uh, to the card that I'm using in this video so that you make sure you get the correct card. All right, so let's go through the steps. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go ahead and start up your unit. Have your pen and paper ready as well because we're going to take note of the unit description so that we download the correct software update and we're also going to look at what software version I am running. Now it does give you the unit description here but it doesn't give me which software so we need to go to menu on startup and go down to system status. So I just push down twice and then over. Here I can see I'm running the Helix 5, Chirp, DI, GPS, generation 2 and the software version I'm running is 1.83. This will let me check and see if I am in fact running the latest uh, software that's available. If there's a later number in the sequence available on the website then I know I need to do an update. Alright now I can go ahead and power down my unit. Okay next I'm gonna go to hummingbird.com I'm gonna go over to support tab here and it'll get a drop down menu and you can see software updates right here. I'll click on that. And it brings up all those different fish finders that they produce. And this is where you want to find the unit that you have. So whether you have a Helix 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, or 12, you can pull the drop down menu for each of those. Because I have a Helix 5, and I know that because I wrote it down, I have a Chirp DI GPS G2 right there. Helix 5, it's under the down imaging models, Helix 5. Chirp DI GPS2. I click on that. This shows me what new features I'm going to get with my software update. So it just kind of tells you what little fixes you're getting and what you're getting depending on. Uh, here's some general fix issues. It's going to clear up some noise at 30 feet, a range frequency, a chirp frequency issue, 130 kilohertz, and so on. And then I can also look um, to see what version this is. This is 2.110 so this is um, a later version than what I have on mine so I'm definitely due for an update. So what I need to do first is I need to put my uh, empty SD card into a card reader on the back. Now I need to go to download right here. So right down the corner there. and it's downloading a zip file right there. Once that's completed downloading, it's about 40 megabytes. There it is. I can open whatever file management system that I'm using. And here I can see my empty SD card here. Over here, this over here is going to be my downloads. There's the Helix 5 software that I just downloaded in a zip file. Don't open it. You can just click and drag the zip file into or onto your flashcard. Let that copy and properly eject the flashcard. Now we're going to go and load it into the fish finder. Okay, so go ahead and start your unit back up if you need to. And have your little SD card, uh, micro SD card ready to go. Remember it must be 32 gigabyte class 10. You can tell by the class rating uh, in the upper right hand corner 
it's a little half semicircle with the number 10 in it. Okay, now you want to go and restore your defaults prior to doing your uh, software update. So hit menu twice, go to setup, scroll down to restore defaults, press over. Yes, you want to restore the defaults. Okay, so now the defaults are restored. Okay, so now you're going to take your SD card and insert it. Mine goes in on the side of the unit right here. Okay, so once you insert the SD card in there, it'll prompt you, do you want to replace the software version 1.83 with version 2.110? You press right, yes, that you want to do that. It'll ask you to confirm again, do you want to abort software update and you say no so you click to the left now it's updating do not do not do not interrupt the power supply during this process just let it update the software and reboot on its own if you accidentally disrupt the power supply during this process you'll probably have to send the unit back into hummingbird for repairs So just give it a second here for to reboot. And here it confirms your current, because it's detecting the SD card in there, my current version software is 2.110. The card also contains 2.110, so no update required. I am now finished, so I can press exit. And I can remove my SD card, and my unit is up to date. If you have any questions or anything like that, just let me know in the comments below. I'll put links to the SD card, um, the correct SD card on Amazon so you can buy it if you need to grab a hold of it. Otherwise, I hope your update goes well and you have a good time out on the water catching fish with your Hummingbird Helix units. See you guys.